what is up my fellow creatives so here we are we're doing it we're making a podcast i put a poll up on my instagram and i asked you guys if you would dig me doing a music podcast and a lot of you guys said yes so here we are i don't know what we're gonna call it i don't know kind of what direction we want to take but i do know that we're gonna do this and i don't know how many episodes will be in let's call it a season i don't know anything i just you guys said yes so i jumped on it this is gonna be kind of just an introduction of myself an introduction of where this is gonna go and episode one we'll call it for a lot of you guys who are new and don't know much about me my name is Lucas vasquez i'm 21 years old I've been doing music for going on five years now. Even though music has always been a thing in my life since I was younger, since being in chorus at a young age to performing on stage to many other things, um, I didn't seriously start music until I was around 16, 17 years old. Um, So yeah, that's a little bit about me. What else can I tell you? I make music like every day i have a few songs out and yeah you can look me up on all the streaming platforms at julissa vasquez so let's get into this episode why don't we that's a band (laughs) so let's get into this episode i want to talk about kind of the mental health aspect of music and and mental and physical health of of being in a creative So a lot of people who follow me and a lot of people who know me and and we are mutuals and and whatever the case may be, there, there are a lot of creatives, a lot of artists, a lot of songwriters, a lot of producers, a lot of engineers. For people who are on the outside and don't really understand what we do or why we do it or why we love it so much, they look at it and they're like, oh, music, you're, you're 24 seven, you're doing something either that doesn't to them that doesn't you know need a lot of your attention or is too easy to do or you're just having fun all the time but to us it is more than that and it is more than that not just to us it it's it's a craft it's a talent it's something that does not come easy to some songwriting to some songwriting is easy to some beat making is easy switch that you know to, to me, sometimes songwriting is easy. To me, sometimes beat making is easy. So, the main thing that I'm trying to get at is, from an outside perspective, it may look fun and dandy 24-7, but from an inside perspective, from us creatives, from us artists, from us singer-songwriters, from the beat makers, producers, to engineers, it is not. I figured that out the hard way and it was when I was first starting and I don't know if anyone else can relate but I was it was after I had recorded my first single and put it out so let's place ourselves May end of May beginning of June July-ish we're gonna we're gonna say that time frame and so I had just now gotten used to being in a studio because went into it never ever recording professionally, never ever stepping foot in a studio, never seeing an SSL console, never seeing an anything to that stature. So I, in a sense, I got addicted to how that felt and that feeling of, of being in this headspace of, wow, I'm creating. So after releasing the first single, I wanted to be consistent in releasing and that was going to be hard because the uh, the necessary how do I say this so the essentials for me to record were two hours away from my house so I was driving two hours every time that I wanted to do something musically and and when I had class and things like that for college my best friend who I met in college was you know nice enough to let me stay in her apartment when needed 
so I dedicated a week to staying at her apartment and creating music. A week being not the full seven days, but a week being like, a, a let's say, a work week. Five days, Monday to Friday. In that five days, in those five days, I slept three, four hours tops. And that was because I was so obsessed and addicted to being a creative, to to songwriting, to the songwriting process to the production process I was so obsessed with it that I could not sleep and I know a lot of you guys can relate now I've kind of got it under control and, and I understand it better and I know how to balance my time but in the beginning it's so hard to balance family school being an artist family school being an artist it's so hard in the beginning because you're new to this so in that week what I did was I had class some days I had it was after I put my first single out so I had a radio interview to go to and I had a um infocom that I had to attend as well for school it would it it was me going so this is how the whole week played out I had class on one day came home from class recorded 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 till three four in the morning 7 a.m. we had to leave to go to the interview on Tuesday. Tuesday took a few hours to do an interview, two to three hours. After the interview, had to drive 30 minutes to get to Infocom, which was at the Orange County Convention Center. And we were there for maybe three, four hours. Get home, took a nap because I was exhausted. Took a nap for 30 minutes, woken up like, hey, dinner's ready, let's go. Woke up and ate recorded 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 through the whole night ended up stopping recording at like 10 a.m had class at noon had class all day came home recorded recorded took another nap for an hour and a half then had to go to class again the next day to then stay up for 12 hours and record and that was the process During the time, you think no harm, no foul because you're doing something that you love and you're doing something that, you know, you necessarily, you're in the moment. And you're not, you're not feeling the strain that it's taking on your body. You're not feeling the strain that it's taking on the people around you. Now it was, I went from, you know, talking to my mom every day and texting her and and talking to my family every day to a week. I just ghosted everybody and I was focused on music. And yeah, that's good here and there. But you have to learn the balance of things. I didn't know what harm I was doing to my body till I came home after being away for a week. I came home and I laid on my bed and the next day I woke up and I had, like my body ached. (sighs) My body ached. I had a headache, my chest felt tight, you know, I was congested, and that was because I was pushing my body to limits that it had never been pushed before. I went from zero to 100 in the blink of an eye. Now, maybe if I would have done it better in increments, okay, the first day, you know, we go to sleep at 2 a.m., but then I'm getting rest for a while, then, you know, two or three days from there, we're we're going till another 2 a.m. No, I went from you know, having an adequate amount of sleep to now we're not sleeping a week, but three or four hours in total. When you're in that headspace, it burns you out in so many ways. I noticed quickly my body was, you know, hating me for that. And I had burned myself out because of the the amount that I pushed my mind creatively to create songs and, and, and to be a creative so hard. I couldn't do it. I had writer's block for a good three to four days. Beat-wise, I could not come up with melodies. I could not come up with a simple beat at all because I had just pushed my body so hard. And that's the thing. I want to know when you guys started your artistic career, your creative career, how did that go? You know, did did, did you learn the hard way? Because I learned the hard way. I learned that... If you don't pick a day to rest, your body's going to pick it for itself. 
And that's when it sucks. That's when you're like, dang, man, you know, what are we going to do? Um, so yeah, that, that's really what I want this podcast to be about is a lot of mental, mental talks of, of being a creative. I don't think a lot of people talk about that. You know, being an artist, being a singer songwriter, being a producer, being an engineer, it takes a lot. And and I hate the fact that a lot of people walk around talking about some, when are you going to get a real job? Honey, this job is probably 10 times harder than what you do. We have to be on our 10s and 2s every day because this job takes such a toll on us creatively. It's it's digging deep down to to make these songs have a story. It's digging deep down to to have to have this beat move you. It's digging deep down to mix this song to your fullest extent to have it sound angelic. So we're going to talk about things that may make you cry, may make you laugh. We're going to get into it. Every episode is going to be different but in the same topic as for the as for the the podcast name leave some comments down below let me know you know if you have any ideas if if you want me to call it something or 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 what you let me know because i'm honestly i don't know what i want to call it i don't have any idea of where to go um if you have any questions or if, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about you know hit me up dm me comment down below whatever the case may be i hope that this can you know make people make creatives feel normal i hope this can make someone feel better and let them know that you know (laughs) i went through the same thing you did because being an artist has never been easy every day has never been this easy travel it's it's kind of like a roller coaster to me not the not the biggest up and down roller coaster but there are definitely downs but for every down there has been an amazing up you know you're you're in a profession where a lot of broken promises are made you're in a profession where a lot of songs are trashed a lot of beats are trashed you'll get scammed you'll get, you know, hated love. But at the end of the day, you have yourself and you, you're doing something you love. And that's what you have to continue to do. You can't become an artist for the fame, for the money. You have to become an artist because you love it. And I remember the first time that I made my song, that's when I knew, dang, I, I love doing this. Like, this is fun i've never been the type of person who can really talk about their emotions but let me tell you i can sing them all day every day so music has always been my outlet to to sing and to speak about my emotions because to have a one-on-one with you and to tell you you know i'm feeling i'm feeling down or you know i'm feeling a little sad or this time i can't i can't do that because it's just not me now, if you give me a guitar and I start playing some chords, I'll tell you, you know, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> but I can't, I can't talk to you like that. So, comment, this is, this is what I want you to do. These are the comments that I would love to see. If you have any suggestions for names, if you have any suggestions for topics that you want me to talk about in the future episodes, and what made you start music and why are you why are you continuing music you know what's what's that passion for you so let's get the comments going this is the first episode of many and i hope to have guests on here i hope to have super cool things going on and let's see where this can take us and thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoy and this is just a little bit of what's to come Peace out, my creatives. I hope you continue to create and be the best that you can be. And I will see you on the next episode.